Hi guys, I'm your host Dylan Rubenstein. This is 20 Questions and today I have Giants tight end Jerome Cunningham with me. So you ready to play 20 Questions? Yes I am. Okay, so my first question for you. If you were running for president, which teammate would be your vice president? Uh, it would definitely be Julian Talley or Odell Beckham uh, based off the fact that Julian is hilarious and he'll make the whole experience fun. And that's that's what my life is around, is, uh, revolves around is having fun. and. Uh, I would think it would be him and Odell will make it the best uh, situation possible. Okay, fine. And what was the best vacation you've ever been on? I would say Cancun. Uh, I went to Cancun last year and it was amazing. You know, met great people from across the world. Uh, got to take a picture with a monkey, so it was, that was <laughs> fun. Um, but it was an enjoyable experience and I recommend anyone else to, to try it. Agreed. All right, and what is your favorite thing to eat on cheat day? A favorite thing to eat on cheat day will have to be chicken parmesan plus some pizza. I go all out when I when I cheat. It's it's a full out cheat, but when I'm eating healthy, it's very strict. So uh, I'll say chicken parm uh, from just delivering from a, a pizza restaurant right, right down the street in New Haven. Yeah, pizza is my favorite. I ate that all the time even not on cheat day, but what are your 2016 goals? 2016 goals for me will be, you know, contribute uh, to the team as much as possible, whether that be on special teams, you know, if I'm, you know, the starter, if I'm a backup, you know, uh, my goal also is to have more than 400 yards uh, receiving in one year, uh, more than five touchdowns and uh, just help my team win. So uh, I was just say my goal is just to be a productive uh, player on the Giants. So that's one of my goals. Okay, cool. And what's your favorite holiday? Uh, let's see. This is tough. I'll say my favorite holiday has to be Christmas. I don't. I, it's just something about Christmas that uh, you know I get excited for every year. Is you know I love seeing my family. You know, generally speaking, everyone generally has uh, time off, so it's nice to you know spend that quality time with your family. So. I enjoy Christmas. Okay, cool. If you had one superpower, what would it be? One superpower, I think it would just be, uh, I don't know. This, I mean, I already have strength. So I'll say, I'll just say speed. You know, speed. just just be like Flash. You know, just running a hundred miles per hour and no one can catch me. So that'll be fun. Yeah, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. And who would play you in a movie if they made a movie about your life? If there, if someone was to play me, I would think the person that would do the best job would be the uh, the Rock, uh, Dwayne Johnson, because he's, you know, a little bit taller than me, but you know, same stature, and uh, he's hilarious. So you know, yeah. with me, I always like to have fun, and that guy has fun each and every day. So I think it would be Dwayne Johnson would be do the best job. And what is the best advice someone's ever given you? Best advice, I would just say it would just be. Especially with this whole NFL experience, I would just say like the you know quiet the noise and and I, I mean that by uh, you know there's a lot of you know negative comments uh, that are out there and that was the biggest advice and that that came from uh, Julian Talley and uh, he gave me that and you know when I was battling my injuries and uh, he had some inspirational things to say like every day he's like I'm gonna be all right so I would just say like uh, those is uh, I'm gonna be all right and uh, you know. Uh, what was, what was the other one? I forgot. That was just, what's the best advice someone's given you? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, what's your current Netflix addiction? Current Netflix addiction. Uh, uh, addiction. Um, recently, uh, just really uh, had some, a lot of more free time. So uh, I watched New Girl. For some reason, it was on. And that show is hilarious. And I think I'm going to just finish that, series, that, that show and try to watch all the seasons. Because that show is hilarious. Yeah, I've never seen that. I'm gonna watch it. All right, dead or alive? Name three athletes you'd love to get dinner with. Dead or alive? I would say one, Vernon Davis. You know, I always idolize him. You know, as a tight end, the premier tight end in the league. I always, you know, viewed him as a guy that I always wanted to model my game after. So it'd be Vernon Davis. Um, has to be LeBron James. LeBron James has to be at that table. Uh, great athlete, uh, greatest player in, in the NBA. Um, and I would say one more will have to be Michael Vick. You know, I always enjoyed watching Michael Vick play. So I will say those three. Okay, that's good three. And how old were you when you started playing football? I was, you know, backyard football. I started very young, 
and I played that all the way through middle school. But organized football, I started playing in high school. I didn't, you know, do the traditional route and play during all through middle school, all through elementary. Um, but yeah, I started in uh, high school. Okay. And what's your dream car? Dream car. Uh, I would say it has to be a Ferrari uh, F58 Italia. That's so funny. When I was little, that was my dream car. I didn't even know what it was, but I always had like pictures of it. Mm -hmm. So cool. <laughs> and who's your celebrity crush? Celebrity crush, I would say, has to go out to Nikki Eaton. Yeah. I don't know. That's just, she's, yeah. That's, that's, cool. that's She's yeah. young and yeah. she's like local. Yeah, she's Good meet her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you could have any wild animal as a pet, what would it be? Wild animal has to be a tiger. Tiger? Yeah, it has to. Because, I mean, that's... People don't have tiger at their house, so that would be, that would yeah, be, that'd be that's wild. True. <laughs> um, so, what did it feel like to receive the call that you made it as a giant, like on the actual roster? I mean, it was it was tr it was amazing. You know, I was still in in awe. Like people were telling me, because uh, actually, I, it's funny because I didn't re actually receive a call. Oh really? Yeah, it was just if you didn't get the call, you were good. If you got a call, that means you had to show up to the facility. So, oh, actually, I didn't <laughs> get a call, but. It, it was just still nerve-wracking because it was like after four o'clock is the deadline yeah and i was still like telling people at like eight o'clock like i still don't know but uh yeah it was an interesting experience and yeah and uh i would say it, it just felt amazing once i you know got past the oh in shock phase and actually sat down like hey you did make the 53 so it was amazing yeah that's awesome all right what's your most embarrassing moment most embarrassing moment, and it, it always happens, is when I trip and fall. I'll say it, it randomly happens. You know, I could be walking in the library and just fall. And I'm just, I'm just a clumsy person. And I'll just say, like, anything that revolves around me falling is, uh, that's the, that's the very, very embarrassing for me. Especially because I'm so big and I always fall, like, hard. So everyone hears it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your funniest teammate? Funniest teammate, you know, it has to go back to you know either Julian or Odell, uh, Odell Beckham because those guys are hilarious. Like Odell will have something funny to say, and he'll have a new funny dance. Always, you know, in a positive mood in the in the locker room. And Julian, he doesn't really dance much. He doesn't really like to dance, but uh, he uh, has always a funny comment uh, situation, always joking around. So those two are the funniest. Yeah. So do you have any advice for D2 or D3 athletes trying to make it big like you did? Yeah, I would say the, the biggest advice is just to stay the course, you know. Um, with me, it was just all about persistence and, um, you know, coming out of the D2 school, you know, I didn't have that many resources or uh, advice or people to go to and turn to for uh, advice about professional, uh, the, the professional journey because no one has done it. So. It was, uh, for me, the biggest thing was just, you know, just do everything uh, fast and appropriate, like uh, paperwork-wise and uh, making sure that you're training as much as possible because you just never know. With me, it was, uh, you know, my first year out, uh, just based on the fact that I wasn't, I didn't have enough exposure, uh, you know, uh, I sat out a whole year uh, after I finished playing my senior year. so. And then I didn't let that discourage me. I just went back to school and finished up and uh, trained even harder. And the following year, 13 teams called me. So um, I would say that was the biggest thing with me was, you know, based on my story was just persistence because I could have easily just hung up the cleats and uh, just gave up. But never, there was never a day in, uh, that passed that I wasn't focused on my dreams. So it's just really uh, persistence. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so if you were not an NFL player, what would your career choice be? Your backup? I would say my backup would just be anywhere, any any job in the fitness industry. Yeah. So, uh, you know, uh, I, I enjoy working out, work out all the time. Um, and that's just my passion. You know, if I wasn't playing football, I'd still be working out. So um, yeah. I enjoy that uh, aspect of it. And I'll say, like, you know, anywhere in fitness, CrossFit, you know, any weightlifting chain or anything like that. Okay, cool. All right, last but not least, you have to show us your touchdown dance. I know it's kind of small, so. All right, so <laughs> there's a little fad going around, and if I was a score this year, I would have did this dance. 
and it's called the uh, ran off and plugged twice uh, and it goes up uh, with the song by Plies. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. All right, so that's it for 20 questions. I'm your host, Dylan Rubenstein, and this is Jerome Cunningham. Thank you for being on the show with me.